the crank sensor and cam sensor don't use the same resistance. They are not the same as they are sensing the position of two different components. However, the crankshaft positioning sensor might be used to provide camshaft information and or cylinder identification. Is that clear? Because this is a question come from a fan and I want to make it clear to him that crankshaft and camshaft position sensor doesn't use the same resistance. They are sensing the position of two different components which is the crank sharp position sensor and it might be used to provide cam sharp sensor information and or cylinder identification that's the basic thing so if you don't understand something i uh, make it clear okay so someone may ask how much resistance should a crank sharp sensor have the resistance to the crank sharp sensor have is 200 to 1000 ohms you understand 200 to 1000 ohms okay and this is the correct ohms should the crankshaft sensor have so anytime you set your multimeter to ohms and you touch your meter lead to the sensor terminal pins note there is a sensor if the sensor is open and you need to replace it once some models you will get a resistance value between 200 and 900 ohms this is a consult and a repair manual for a specification the ohms or the resistance for the camshaft sensor is 200 and 900 ohms hello guys welcome to eric auto center today again i'm going to show you the difference between crank sensor and cam shaft sensor how to test them on multimeter i have done several videos regarding to this crank shaft sensor but still have to do more for you to understand and <coughs> learn how to i mean use them properly because this is a multimeter and a lot of features are on it that you don't know so i'm going to show you basic I mean information on it and how to test these sensors this is a cam sensor I'm going to show you how to test it with multimeter and this is a crankshaft sensor I'm going to show you how to test it but note that there are two type of two basic type of crankshaft sensor I'm going to discuss with you and show you the differences note that the resistance between crankshaft and camshaft center are not the same but they work together okay so if you want to test it first of all you switch on your multimeter this is a diode continuity so as soon as you test them you can see it uh, reading from here to here is a diode continuity and from here to here is an ohm is all resistant below are all regarding to resistance there are there are so many sensors and how to use these features and i'm going to explain why 200k why 2m why 20m and why 200 so stay updated now if you want to test these sensors and get this resistance know that i am going to read the information to you before we are going to test them now the difference between camshaft sensor and camshaft position sensor is that uh, camshaft position sensor find the position of the crankshaft while the crankshaft position sensor detect the position of the crankshaft and piston however crankshaft sensor are located at the crankshaft while camshaft sensors are located at the camshaft i repeat again a difference between crankshaft and camshaft sensor position is that a camshaft position sensor find the of position the camshaft while the crankshaft position sensor detect the position of the crankshaft and piston however crankshaft position sensor located at the crankshaft while camshaft sensors are also located at the camshaft now 
what is the difference between ohms and the uh, amps so this particular sensor we are going to see the 200 this m uh, meaning the 200 milliamps anytime you this 20 also meaning 220 milliamps 2 milliamps so we are going to use the 200 milliamps to test it now the 200 milliamps on a multimeter typically stand for 200 milliamps which is a unit of measurement for electric current i repeat again 200 milliamps on multimeter stand for 200 milliamps which is a unit of measurement for electric current sensors so now you understand so i'm going to turn the multimeter to 200 milliamps and first of all let me test this sensor by using the com and the ohm sensors and as you can see there is a reading so that means there is a resistance there is a continuity on this sensor which means the sensor is good if you test it and there is no reading that means the sensor is faulty so this is how to test crank camshaft sensor you know these are the basic camshaft sensor you have to know and this type is not directly tested on this uh, with the resistance but it is used you have to use the milliamps column to test it before you can get the resistance or the ohms you understand it so this is how you test it make sure any sensor that has a two pin or three pin the last pin is for the ohms and the first pin is for the comb which is the negative and the positive the middle wire is a trigger wire just for supporting i hope you understand the middle wire is a trigger wire this is the negative wire or the comb wire and we have the positive wire which also regard to i mean the ohms current wire so this is how to test a camshaft sensor on multimeter to get the correct resistance mm -hmm. i have more information on this so what this video to end now let's go to the crankshaft sensor it is also the same with regard to what i just discussed to you right now so we reset the first pin okay the first pin will be on this you can see so the middle wire is a trigger wire the first is a negative wire and then the last wire you can see also a reading 0 0.1 0 1.1 which means there is a resistance there is a continuity so this is how to test sensor. Okay. this type of sensors particularly if you get other sensors that came with a direct wire then you can test them using the ohm columns ohm columns this side or may this are whether 20k or 200 ohms this type of that type of sensors may require to use this feature but this type of sensors doesn't work directly with everything it pass through the ecu before you can get the milliamps for the current sensor so this is how you can able to test these sensors to get understanding now going forward you can able to check out that these cam sensors are more important they are more important you can see they are more important and how to use them is also another thing so a current sensors here require you to know the high voltage of these sensors now you can understand and see how you can able to understand these two of them so this is how we go about it this is how we test crank sensors 
and make sure I will come your way with more information about multimeter. Please, if you watch any video of my channel, make sure you comment because this is a comment from a subscriber and this video will solve thousands of I mean questions on this platform so make sure you comment and make sure you like the video share the video also as well to reach many people who need them most every technical person need them that is why I'm always say subscribe to your record center and like share the video to Guevara as well thanks for watching See you in the next video. Bye-bye.